water rabbit. It's good because there is a very strong energy bond with each blossom energy. And this has to do with love and romance. And what this means is if you are single or in a relationship, this bodes well for your relationships. This also bodes well for filial type of relationships with your family, your friends, your colleagues, people in your business, and so on. There's another good energy called the benefactor energy. What this means is you'll be getting help from people in authority and influence. So this year in particular, if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. And if you're in a position to help people from your position, also don't hesitate to lend assistance to those people in need. Those are some good overall energies. Now, if you belong to the year of the rat, rats among us, it is good for you to find out your sources of income, maximize that. It's also a good year to make new friends. A lot of your love will be coming from the new relationships that you make for this year, so that's for the rat. Next for the year of the ox. This is a good year for planning. Plan out your years. You have different milestones that you're going to get, and also the contingencies and allowances so that if something does happen, you'll be able to, to make up for it. And then lastly, also for the ox, you may have to watch out for the help of your elders. So just keep in mind that they would, uh, so that for their protocols and their regiments, always keep them healthy and for their emotional state as well. So that's for the ox. Now we have the year of the tiger. Tiger is a good enhanced social star. This means that everyone you talk to this year will have the benefit of getting good vibrations and good luck from them. So make sure you're able to meet a lot of good people if you're a tiger. Watch out for your health, so just make sure that you keep a healthy lifestyle. Watch out for your nutrition. Watch out for your stress management. And also get enough exercise and rest. Now for the year of the rabbit. Congratulations, it's your year if you're the year of the rabbit. What this means is you'll be having this very strong spotlight star. You'll be in the spotlight, you'll be the leaders, people who listen to what you have to say. You use this platform to be able to spread good and your own personal agenda. It's going to be good for the rest of humanity. There's also a good star for wealth. So this would be a good year for the rabbit to invest in good investment. So make sure you're able to diversify well, save and invest well this year with the dragon. Now for the dragon. The dragons are particularly good because they have a strong yang energy. This means we'll be getting a lot of luck from the males in your life. Male family members, male friends, male colleagues, business partners. So if you need help, beam in the males in your life. And then lastly, the dragon also has a good start for professional advancement. Whether you're starting your career, leading your business, this will be good for you to move forward and have a good professional career ahead for the year. Now for the snake. For the snake, it's happy to travel here. So if you have uh, any travel plans, this would be particularly good for your snake. It's also good to make new business relationships. A lot of your opportunities will be coming from the people you meet this year that will give you good lucrative business wealth opportunities to put yourself out there and wide up your network. Now we go to the year of the horse. For the horse, it's good from a yin energy perspective. You'll be getting a lot of luck from the females in your life. So just try to put yourself out there and try to lean into your mother, your sisters, male, female family members, female business colleagues. They'll be the ones who will give you the luck in your life this year. It's also just from a relationship perspective. The horse is a beach blossom star which is good for you to develop relationships in your home and in your place of work. Now for the goal. The goal for this year is a year of expansion. If you're a business owner or whether you're in a corporate career, try to widen your scope of the products and services or even just your scope of influence. And that will go well for you for the year. It's also good for creativity. So try to find out creative solutions to existing problems. Or try to brainstorm with your colleagues and use your imagination to solve them. So that's for the year to go. Now for the monkey. The monkey is a very strong leadership star. And what this means is if you're in a position of leadership, this will be good for you. People will go in here for guidance and you can spread your good word. It's also a good year for the monkey to have mentors. So if, for example, you are in a position of uh, influence, try to be a mentor to others or seek out mentors in whatever uh, position you're in. People can teach you the ways of the world. So that's for the monkey. The rooster is what we call the clash of the year. 
in China and of Chow. So what this means is the rooster energy is conflicting with the year of the rabbit's energy. So you may have a little bit of challenges and changes for this year in particular, but don't worry because if you're able to do certain things like attend happy celebrations like this one, or host happy celebrations, or if you're able to give to charities and volunteer, this will lessen some of the not so good energies you have for the year, and you'll be able to spread goodwill as well. Also, be wary of some financial losses that might come your way. So if you can find a good investment, if you're a dear producer, this would be a good year to do that as well. Now for the dog. The dog is a good member of star. This bodes well for your career, for your wealth, opportunities, and also your authority and status. So make sure you maximize that. It's also a good year for the dog to solve problems. Be the problem solver in your home and in your office, and that would be well for you. And lastly for the pig. The pig is a star called the sky shape star. This means it's good to surround yourself with food with happy celebrations, with good people, with vibrations, that would work well for you. One warning for the pig is don't listen to false information and false news. And make sure not to spread any fake news as well. You might use this for making important decisions, so make sure you always verify your sources, and make sure you always trust the top. So those are, that's a big overview of 12 signs. And now at this point, we would 